for better attorneys on the case to, to, uh, to really dig deep and dive deep into what just happened. And if this is the final witness, is this the powerful witness that the, that the prosecutors would have wanted to end on, or is it all of a sudden becoming a damaging witness for them? Uh, J uh, Jeff Gold, you're a former prosecutor. I can't imagine what the prosecutors are going through right now, watching their witness all of a sudden sweating and wiping his brow as they take his personal notes away and get copies and smile about it. Tell me what's going through this witness's mind and what's going through your mind as a prosecutor. Well, first is to me, I mean, I've heard the question, why not put the mom on last? Because she had short testimony and it was emotional and brought us back to Trayvon Martin. But instead, they put on an expert. And these experts always have issues because they want to testify, uh, you know, as if they're lecturing and they can't. In this case, they want to make their own rules, which is to bring in their notes. And guess what's coming? The defense has an expert who has written the book on pathology, Vincent DeMeo. I mean, and in comparison to what they're putting on last, this is is the way they want to leave the jury it's almost incredible to me I think he's doing a poor job and right now just the fact of the notes regardless of whether there's anything in there damaging or not the fact that they had a break because of it makes the state look bad on their last witness